This is not a fashion show. This is my journey with PH. Hey y'all, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making a video. If I look like crap, it's because I feel like crap. <laughs> this is not a fashion show. This is my journey with ph for sure um so i guess let's just start off the vlog by stating the situation at hand i have been doing really well lately and that's why i really haven't vlogged because i my kids started school they've been in school a few weeks already um from summer my mom calling got answered okay so I'm back I know I look crazy I went and was talking on the phone with my mom and I took off my contacts and just take off my glasses so you can not have any blur um so let me just start over again because I already forgot what I was gonna say but lately I've been doing really well on my um, diet and treadmill and I have been just I haven't caught a cold I've been just doing really well and so I haven't made a video recently because everything's just been going very smoothly and so I was just very appreciative for that and today I was sitting in my kitchen watching my air fryer and I felt my shirt was wet and I was like oh man so I looked down at my shirt to investigate and realized that I had a spot on it, like, but it was just clear. So I was like, okay, let's see where it's coming from because it could be the hub. It could be that, you know, there's a little tear and, you know, maybe you didn't screw it on right. Sometimes you don't screw it exactly perfectly. Um, you know, sometimes your hubs crack, you know, you just get a leak and all those things are very fixable at the house. No need to like, you know, get nervous or panic or anything like that. So it's just expecting it to be that because, you know, those issues happen all the time for us, you know. Um, I mean, I've been wearing this for like seven years. So in that time, it's happened frequently that I know how to pretty much deal with a lot of different scenarios <laughs> so I looked at the main section and I realized well there's no leak here there's no leak in the hub area it just happened that there was a tear in the actual line right here a little stress tear they happen uh, right around the bottom um, and it was just a little, like a hair line, and you would see the, the medication, like, bubble up and come out. So, if you want to, if this is your first time watching this channel, okay, please like and subscribe, and I appreciate you clicking on this video. But for those of you who have been watching me for a long time, or for a while, you will understand that this has happened before. The stress tear has happened on the line before and if you go back to the videos you'll see where um i had a what was it called a repair kit placed on the tear they clipped it repair replaced the bottom of the line so they cut it they cut it right here so they cut the line here they basically glued a new bottom half on and they had a little repair kit on onto the the port I've had that done before it lasted about a year and it actually f came apart in the middle of the night I bled out um, and thank God I had like a giant fan facing me and my blood coagulated the line so I didn't completely bleed out I woke up that way and it was a very traumatic experience and it's in my video lineup if you want to go back and check you can see the process and everything like that so i know for a fact that this time around i will not be getting the repair kit done on the line 
but um when I saw the stressed hair, I instantly knew that I will be having to make that five-hour journey to Houston. Um, we'll be definitely going in for surgery for the line to be replaced completely, and that is a process. So I instantly just, like, because I was so frustrated because everything has been going so well for me lately, and I'm very blessed and thankful and appreciative. And it's just kind of feels sometimes that when everything's going well, um, something will kind of get like a wrench thrown in. And it, it, it really felt like that. And so I gave myself a good five minutes, you know, of just getting that disappointment out. And I'm just like, okay, you know, this is what it is. And then got myself together and was like, okay, this is what we're dealing with now. And so, um, just getting on the phone immediately and messaging my doctor, letting him know the situation, sending him pictures of the tear. Um, I guess I can like insert that picture here so you guys can see how tiny it is, but it is like, it affects you seriously because your body won't be getting the same amount of medication that it should be. You can get an infection in there. All kinds of dangerous stuff can happen to us. So it is so tiny, but it is so important um, that it be like properly treated right away. And you guys know that out there, I'm sure. Um, yeah, so send my doctor pictures. He got, you know, messaged him. He messaged me back immediately. My doctor is very amazing. Um, and he just said, hey, you know, come in. And I told him I'm getting, you know, I have two younger children. They're two kids in junior high right now. And um, my mom's like, okay, I get on the phone with my mom, get on the phone with my daughter in college. Cause if I leave anywhere and she doesn't know, she's like, I will be in so much trouble. <laughs> And so, um, let everybody know, hey, this is what's going on. My mom's like, okay, great. Packing my bags. I'll be over there to, um, you know, basically get my kids to and from school because I will be having to make the journey tomorrow and get this thing repaired. So, thank goodness for me. It's a very small tear. I will show you in the, what is it called? Like the, the picture that I took. It's a very small tear. But, um, thank goodness. Let me try to get some more footage. So this is the line. The tear is right in here somewhere. It's super teeny tiny, but it is on the line. It is not on the hub or the um, medication line. It's nothing that I can fix at home and just replace um, safely. It's right up here somewhere. So I... I instantly get the medical tape tie it real tight and make sure that I'm holding it up that there's not a lot of pressure on it I haven't felt any fluid come out and it's been a few hours I'm assuming that tape is working and um, I'll be able to get to the ER tomorrow if I was living in the same town as my doctor, I would definitely be able to get to the ER today. But unfortunately for myself, um, my you know family that helps watch my children lives two hours away from me. So by the time they get here, then I have to leave here and go to um, Houston. That's another five and a half hours, five hours, whatever. Um, so it does, it's a process when anything happens to me. And if anything happens to me by emergency, of course, where it's life threatening, of course, I would just take my children and they would miss school. It's not a problem. But, um, I'm just thankful that this is something that is very, very, very tiny leak, but it was enough to make like this big of medication loss, wet spot on my shirt. So... It needs to be dealt with immediately um, my doctor did recommend me come in tonight but I told him I wasn't able to get you know my caregiver and he was like okay great just come in as soon as you can the team is already prepped um, to you know help me with my line 
He was very stressed because he doesn't want me in the ER at all because he said COVID is very um, high right now, but he said there is no other option for me. So I'm just, it's been a few hours since all of this happened. I've had time to process it, you know, and just sit with myself and get my mind right. And, um, you know, I just want to share like with other PHers, you know, sometimes, well, this is mainly, I guess, for the families is like, whenever something like this happens to me, I get very, very focused, you know, so very, very, um, focused on the situation. I have to overcome because first of all I know it's going to be extremely painful um, I'm gonna get poked a lot I'm going to be facing COVID and stress so I don't and this is just me personally I don't like people hugging me and people like are you okay how did this happen like I don't it doesn't work well for me. It may work well for other people, but it doesn't work well for me. And sometimes it can come off very cold and it can come off very um, hard. And uh, like I always tell my husband when I'm in this situation, like, you know, I'm sorry. Like, I don't mean to, you know, not want you to hug me or anything. I just have to be very, very focused on this because, um, your mind can like get away from you and that's not nothing that you want to do you want to just be as calm as possible um try to hold as much peace as possible and for me um the easiest way for me to find peace is not people hovering on me or coddling me or um just a lot of uh, I don't know it just sounds weird but I get very very um, like in the zone so um, like my mom she'll come and she'll want to hug me and she'll want to be like you know doing all this stuff and I don't do any of that stuff you know so it is it i get very focused and then i go and i try to be as kind and nice as possible um to getting things done that i have to do you know getting into the er getting to where i need to be having things done and getting out of there and then as soon as i'm out of there then it's like okay then we can like hug and like you know i can let my guard down and i can be more um friendly and more you know loving but i when certain things like this happen i just i don't have space for the loving part i only have space for the focusing on the task that I, has been put in front of me and so I just, you know, go into a deep, like, you know, self meditation, prayer, and um, a deep, deep space of, like, you know, finding inner peace and walking through this journey and actually feeling this experience. Um, because I feel, and this is just my own personal opinion, right? You know, I don't want to shut out the experience. Um, everything that we go through in life is with purpose you know everything that happens to you happens to you for a reason every you know situation that you're put in just makes you stronger and so I like to really just try to focus in and be present when things like this happen to me um, and like through example of my behavior teach my children how to behave um, in a time of stress and a way to do that you know is just with kindness with as much patience and presence as possible and getting in that zone and that mindset um, sometimes can feel cold to people um, but me and my children we have like very deep conversations about that 
and it's very important that if you have children or like spouses to have those very very deep conversations to where they're learning from your experience and um, you're just doing your best to behave in a way that is um, of a certain standard and that's what I hold for myself that is my experience and um, this is not advice or I'm not telling you how to do anything I'm just telling you that these are things that are super important to me and um, yeah when when like panic or you know serious situations happen in my family my immediate like you know close you know me my children my husband um, happen you know these are things that we we practice for you know our meditations our prayers um, the way we get in a mindset as a family and we know what's going on we know what we're doing um, even my kids they're like they've been informed like here's what's gonna happen you know they're like okay grandma's coming we got to do this we're gonna do great you know you're gonna be back it's gonna be good you know it's it's a lot of um, it's a lot it's a very heavy for a kid to have to deal with and I'm so proud for my children the way me and my husband have raised them to you know pray their meditations to find their center and peace and um, the responsibility to take care of themselves you know the responsibility that they carry with what we expect for them to behave like when my mother is here taking care of them it's it means so much to me because they've had to deal with a lot and I know that you know when shit like this happens to us it's like you want to think oh my god myself myself but you know everybody around me is um, very very strong and I'm just getting in like game time you know because tomorrow they're gonna go and pull this shit out of my chest and probably dig a hole on the other side and I'm gonna be like <clears throat> you just gotta get in the get in that headspace you know so that's what's happening tonight um I'm gonna like try to get a few things ready. I'm moving very slowly, not putting any pressure on myself or you know my sight. Just holding it. It's like taped to my body a little bit. I'm gonna I'm gonna tape it a little bit to my body, um, and just very slowly pack my stuff because I will definitely be in the hospital. <sighs> so I'll see you soon next time on PH Friend from Texas. How you feeling? Like I got hit by a truck? <laughs> what did you do? My heart? Yeah, you know, oh my god, really? Yeah. <laughs>